Because of the way SwiftUI sends binding updates to property wrappers, assigning property observers used with property wrappers won't work. Which means this kind of code won't print anything even as the blur radius changes. To fix this, we have to create a custom binding. We have to use the binding struct directly, which allows us to provide our own code to run when the value is read or written. In our code, we want a binding to return the value of blur amount when it's read. But when it's written, we want to change the value of blur amount and also print that new value so we can see it's changed. Regardless of whether we're reading or writing, we're talking about something that reads our blur amount property. And Swift doesn't allow us to create properties that read other properties because the property we're trying to read might not have been created yet. So putting all that together, we have to create a custom binding struct that acts as a pass through around blur amount. But when we're setting the value, we also want to print a message. It's also a requirement that we don't store it as a property of our view. Reading one property from another isn't allowed. As a result, we have to put this code into the body property of our view, like this. Let blur equals binding CG float get self.blur amount set self.blur amount equals dollar zero print new value is self.blur amount If the slider's value, we'll just use blur. Before we get into the binding itself, notice how some other things have stayed the same. We still use at state private var to declare the blur amount property. And we still use blur radius directly for our blur radius as a modifier in our text view. One thing that changed is the way we declare the binding in the slider. Rather than using dollar blur amount, we can just use blur. This is because using the dollar sign is what gets us a two way binding from some state. But now that we've made the binding directly, we no longer need it. Okay, now let's look at the binding itself. Press Command Shift O and look up binding to open up the generated interface for SwiftUI. As you can see, the basic initializer for a binding looks like this. In it, get at escaping takes no param return value. Set at escaping takes a value returns void. Breaking that down, it's telling us that the initializer takes two closures a getter that takes no parameters and returns a value, and a setter that takes a value and returns nothing. Binding uses generics, so that value is really a placeholder for whatever we're storing inside, a CG float in the case of our blur binding. Both the get and set closures are marked as at escaping, meaning that the binding struct stores them for use later on. What all this means is that you can do whatever you want inside these closures. You can call methods, run an algorithm to figure out the correct value to use, or even just use random values. It doesn't matter, as long as you return a value from get. So if you want to make sure you update user defaults every time a value is changed, the set closure of a binding is perfect. 